Howdy, howdy, howdy. Can you all hear me? People in the back, can you hear me? Bummer, now you guys are going to pay attention. There's going to be a test on this later, so. All right. Those of you who don't know me, my name is Jim Wexler. I'm a, uh, I do the head judging for this show and one of the show organizers. And uh, I want to welcome you all and thank you for participating in the fourth annual Sprue Fest. Uh, for those of you that prayed, made some sort of horrific sacrifice to, or some other way to the gods of weather, thank you. Our, our number one concern with this show is always that the weather is good. So thank you everybody who made the weather nice. As you all know, this show is put on by Brookhurst Hobbies, particularly by the owner Henry Tremblay, as well as the guys who run the, show, the shop, Steve and Louie, who are in the back. And, uh, you know, the show is put on as much as a labor of love as anything else. All these guys who work at Brookhurst, Henry as well, are longtime modelers and gaming guys. And so the idea of bringing everyone together to a fun show where we can share what we worked on and get to know each other was the entire impetus for this show. Uh, so I hope you all had fun. Um, if you didn't have fun, <laughs> as you know, Henry unfortunately had another commitment today, so he couldn't be here. He present he gives everyone his best wishes. Of course, you'll see him at the shop. He's never far around. So. Uh, this year we tried something new. Uh, we brought the taco truck in. Was that good or bad idea? Good idea? I've been told to try to keep the awards show brief because everybody ate tacos and we're not sure what's gonna happen to everybody. Cause, cause some, some of us are getting too old for digestion problems. All right. So before we get to the awards, I'm gonna throw out some thank yous. Uh, first, I want to thank all of you, the modelers, because let's face it, if it wasn't for the modelers and the gamers, this, this, this show wouldn't exist, and frankly, the hobby shop wouldn't exist. So please, keep coming, keep showing up. Your participation was extremely noted this year. We had 113 contestants, a new record for the show. We had 475 models entered. I cannot, one thing I really want to remind you, I tell people when I see them, this show is not an IPMS show, it's not an AMP show, it's not related to any other show you go to. So if you're debating whether to bring a model because it's an older model, or you've taken it elsewhere, don't debate it, bring it. Model shows succeed based on number of entrants and model count. That's what gets everybody excited. It's what fills tables. People like to see it. It's what makes people want to come here and be vendors and, and manufacturers. So if you're thinking about bringing a model, you should. I can't encourage you that. In, I can't encourage that enough. Secondly, I want to thank all the people who judged. Those people who've judged know it's a time-consuming process. But this show, I am extremely proud of the judging teams. They work very, very hard. And in particular, they try to always remember that they want to judge the way they would be judged. That's why I don't judge personally, because I think nothing of any of you. <laughs> so thank you to everyone who judged. Most appreciated. I also particularly want to thank all the people that have come here and helped out. We have, not here, but sending in a big package was AB Air and Air Modelers. They sent in a big subscription as one of the raffle prizes. Um, we got Alliance Games. They also sent in raffle prizes. We, of course, have Bandai down at the end doing a wonderful job with us. Big sponsor this year. Can't thank you enough. Games Workshop is here. They've, uh, Tony's gone, but yeah, Games Workshop always sponsors a lot of categories, including a best of. Uh, Grex, every year, Grex is here, wherever they are. Mission Models is becoming a regular. I can't even get John to stop painting to be, be thanked. <laughs> That's how dedicated a modeler he is. You got to appreciate that. Uh, of course, we got, I got a list. 
We got Merritt. Thank you so much. You guys are huge sponsors of this show. Tony is at his son's swim meet. You got to be proud of that. Please tell Tony how much we missed him, but we really can't thank him enough for the contributions they make every time. Uh, PLA Editions, that is Abrams Squad and Diomag. They're another big sponsor. They have a special award, really cool looking award. So huge thanks out to Pear. They're out of Spain, believe it or not. So got to like that. And finally, but certainly not last, is Tamiya, who is always a gigantic sponsor of us. This year they upped it. They gave even more awards. They gave it, They did two best ofs, not one this year. So for everybody from Tamiya, my heartfelt thanks. Very, very much appreciated. I also want to thank every person and uh, company or group that sponsored an individual award. One of the things that we made a point of with this show is to have what we think are some of the finest awards in the hobby circuit. And fine awards don't come cheap. Our award packages tend to be a little more money to sponsor, but people step up. And this year, I'm extremely proud to say we got every one of them sponsored. And that makes a gigantic difference to Brooker's Hobbies, who otherwise has to foot the bill. So every year, we're going to keep going with these great awards. And thank you all for everyone's generosity on that. I also want to mention that you know we have a lot of local clubs in this area, all of whom have been pretty friendly and helpful to getting the word out about the show. Uh, I do want to give anybody from any of the clubs a moment if they would like to say something about upcoming events. Uh, one of the bigger sponsors of the show, a long time organizers, is the SoCal Amps Group. Uh, I don't know if John Stellick's here, if he would like to say something. Uh, those of you who are armor modeling guys, uh, I'll talk. A lot of us in here are some of the original people from the club. The club's been going on for, I think it's 12 years now. It meets uh, just down the street of the Fry Sign Company, about, I don't know, three blocks away, on Saturdays at 4 o'clock, uh, second Saturday of every month. If you build armor, if you build anything sci-fi, and frankly, if you just like to build and bring other stuff, it's a very open-minded club. We're a, a friendly group, as far as you know. Uh, but uh, we encourage everybody's welcome. So it's not just armor. We, every time you come to a meeting, you'll see a lot of other stuff at the table. Obviously, the word, you know, armor is the focus, but a lot of good stuff. And those of you who build sci-fi and like to do weathering or Gundams and weathering, it's a great format. So please, look into it. The people at the front uh, of Brookhurst have flyers and they have information to get you to come to our club. We'd love that. Secondly, uh, we have Orange County IPMS, which has been around for a very, very long time. Dave here is our club president. We want to say a word or two, Dave? Sure. Word. Don't, make, don't make it the king. Word. <laughs> word. Just uh, we meet every third uh, Friday, and uh, we're welcome to uh, come to our, our, our meetings. And our Orange Con is October 10th of this year. We don't have a flyer yet. We're working it. But, uh, we're, uh, <laughs> thank you very much for everything. Thank you, Dave. Uh, third is the South Orange County Insane Modeling Posse, also known as IMP. Uh, Terry is ahead. Want to come say something, Terry? I'll just stand up. And say it. This is Terry. Yeah, we, uh, we meet in South Orange County in Mission Viejo at the Norman P. Murray Center. Really nice facility <laughs> on the fourth Saturday of every month. There's no charge to come to the meeting. <laughs> Yeah, that, that club is uh, primarily focused on building. A lot of people, uh, everybody will show with models and work on models. The, uh, what Terry didn't mention is it runs from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m., but you're not required to be there for the whole time. You can come and go as you please. Uh, highly encourage it. It's a real nice facility in Mission Viejo. Again, information is available at Brookers if you want more information about that. Uh, I'd like to also thank everyone who came all the way down from Burbank, from the LA area Miniature Society, LAMS. Uh, is there anyone from LAMS that wants to say a word or two? No? Oh, yeah, come on up. Yeah, come on up, Ed. Like I can't speak from here. <laughs> With my New York voice. <laughs> okay, I'm actually representing two clubs. The Lambs meets in Burbank on the first Saturday of every month 
at the, the VFW. And you can find information at Burbank House of Hobbies. We have flyers there. And so that's the first Saturday of every month. And then I'm also a member of the Pasadena's Marvelous Society. Uh, yes. And we meet the fourth Friday night in Pasadena. Okay. And I also want to talk about we have an upcoming show, ValleyCon, on March 1st in the Pasadena Convention Center. And that's in honor, I don't know if you, if George Creed has been our, was our leader for many years and he passed away last year and so we're having, continuing the Valley Con in his name. And again, that's March 1st, which is a Sunday in um, Pasadena and you can find flyers, there should be flyers here and easily. And if you got any questions, you can come see me. I'll be happy to, to give you all the right and hopefully none of the wrong information. <laughs> George. It's, uh, George was quite a fun guy. He was a friend of mine and kind of a character, but his real passion was this club, this ValleyCon, which is on March 1st, as Ed mentioned. I'm saying it again in case you can't hear me in the back. Um, it's a fun, fun show. It's in the Pasadena uh, Convention Center, so there's a lot of stuff around. And this is uh, really a, a, a bit of a bittersweet one because it is in memorial to George who passed away unexpectedly earlier uh, in 2019. But can't encourage that enough. Been going to that show for a long time. It's 30 years, 31 years. Some, some insane amount. Yeah, it's Actually, 30, 31 years. So yeah, if you aren't if you aren't going to that, you should. It's a great show. It is also not an IPMS show, so you are welcome to bring anything you want to that show. Um, I also want to point out that we have a lot of other clubs that came in that were out of the area. I know San Diego IPMS has a bunch of guys that came up. Uh, I believe there are guys that came from Las Vegas, is that right? Is there Vegas in the house? No? A lot of times Vegas comes in. Those of you who don't know, the IPMS Nationals, that's the big national model contest, is gonna be, be in Las Vegas in 2021. It's gonna be in the summer of 2021. I think it's August. Yeah, at the Rio. So it's gonna be at the Rio, and uh, a lot of information will come up after this year's show. So keep a look, it's only a four hour drive. And if you haven't been to a nationals, it's a absolutely great experience. I'll be talking about this next year too. But uh, yeah, nationals are a ton of fun when it's local because you see everyone you've ever met and their vendor rooms tend to be fantastic. So absolutely. May 16th, San Diego IPMS is holding an expo in swap meet this year. Usually it's June, it's May 16th. Bring your models, Steve McQueen, Anybody that builds a 48 scale Stearman and wins best Stearman gets a ride in Steve McQueen's Stearman Real Aircraft. Wow. 48 scale Stearman, bring it down May 16th, San Diego Model Expo at the Gillespie Field Annex for San Diego Air Space Museum. Thank you. May 16th, May 16th. And uh, lastly, I will mention this show is now an international show and in that we have a, a couple of people came in from Tijuana. So thank you for those people who braved the border and made it on in. Very much appreciated. All right, should we get on to the awards or do you just want to keep talking? Well, we'll do the awards. Okay, we're gonna start out with the juniors. That's category J1. This sponsor was sponsored by Tamiya. The uh, third place award for the KV2 goes to Amelia Cuesta. All right. Amelia Cuesta. Way back there. Hey, little one. <laughs> uh, to, I'll sing the Jeopardy theme song. Here it comes. Here comes Amelia. Hey. Emilio, come on over for a photo. <laughs> that's IPMS, by the way. I mean, that's, that's Lambs. Burbank. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, for the second place, it's the 1969 wide body Camaro from Leo Medea. Yeah.
Oh, he's coming. He's coming. All right. Hey, just while we're doing this, once we finish with the juniors, let's uh, let me hold the clapping until all the awards are announced, and that way we'll get through this a little quicker. And uh, right over here. Also, I'm going to say up front that the odds of me butchering your name are extremely high. Uh, I want to make it clear that I have absolutely no problem reading and pronouncing your name. I'm just butchering it because I don't like you. No. My apologies in advance. I will butcher your name. And if you win multiple awards, the chances are I'll butcher it differently each time. OK, first place in juniors for the Ming Tiger One is Adam Hartunian. <laughs> Remember, let's hold, I'm going to name the awards quickly so we get everybody up and then we'll clap at the end, make it quicker. Uh, we're going to go with category A1, 70 second scale props, sponsored by Mission Models. All right, third place for Spitfire Mark 8, Robert Fabrocini. Second place for the F4F4 Wildcat, Robert Peters. By the way, that's Roger Fabrocini, I'm sorry. Uh, and then first place for the FW190A8, Jerry Jackson. Thank you all. You got a split on the, on the other game? No. Nope. Who was second? Second was, yeah. second here. place was Robert oh, Peters. He's oh, just okay. walking up behind. Oh, 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 photo right, photo right. <laughs> All right, category A2, 70 second scale jet aircraft, also sponsored by Mission Models. Third place for the F100C is Barry Webb. Second place for the Horton 229A1 is Robert Peters. And first place for the Tornado F Mark IV 3 RAF is George Soroyden. All right, how long did you name out? Second. 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 There were six splits available for the entire contest, so we were able to get the categories that had big numbers and split them out. This year, uh, the first split in quarter scale prop was single engine and then multi engine. So, this, the first half of the category is category E3 single engine quarter scale prop. Third place goes for the FW190A8 slash R2 Adam Ju. Second place goes for the FW190A3 to Robert Peters, and first place for the Typhoon Mark I to Conrad Schreier. What's an armor guy doing building airplanes? It's a tank tank. It's just like a tank, it just flies. First place? Oh, I am so sorry. I made a big mistake and I did not mention that to me a USA sponsor. Are you first place? Okay, category A3, second half of the split is multi-engine, sponsored by Merit International. Second place in the, in the last carrier was Bob Peters. Robert! Alright, hold that. We're going to go on to category A3, which is... 148 scale multi-engine props, again, sponsored by Merritt International. We'll wait, we'll wait. All right, third place in that carry goes for the P61 Black Widow to Ed Baroff. Second place for the P38F Lightning is Mark Glidden. And first place for the ME410 Fast Bomber, Brian Thomas. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it is a split. If you're in the split category, 
what we do is you get a piece of paper and that's just too bad for you. No, just <laughs> what we do is we have you fill out the piece of paperwork and we will we actually go and get the actual awards engraved as though it's an actual award. So you'll get it and you'll be able to pick it up from at Brookers in the fu in the near future. Okay, I know that. <laughs> I said, Brian was it? Yeah. You got second. Okay. Good job. Sure. So Okay, what's the next one? <laughs> category, next category is category A4 jets. Quarter scale jet aircraft, 140 scale jets. Are you guys all set? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, third place for the HE-162A Salamander is Ryan Jones. Second place for the U2A is Anthony Wang. And first place for the Sukhoi SU-7 is uh, Joe Mendez. <laughs> To me, I also sponsored First this or thing. second? First. Most the guys who get up here, geez. Who's <laughs> <laughs> second again, Jim? Second? Anthony Wynn. Anthony Wynn? A1. A1. Michelle. No, he's right there. He's coming. He's coming. Here you go. Thank you. Good job. Thank Thank you. You. Where are we at? Turn around, turn around. No, for the second scale aircraft. <laughs> Okay, 30 second scale aircraft. This was also a split. This, uh, the first half of category A5 30 second scale aircraft is monoplanes. This was sponsored by Zuki Mora. A5. A5. Third place for the JU 87B Stuka is Brian Thomason. Second place for the ME 262B1 is Robert Peters. And first place for the OS2U Kingfisher is Ed Baroff. Barrett, by the way. But you know, he retired that thing, would you? Did he kick him out? That's good. Yay! Someone said yay! All right, category A5, the second half of the split is biplanes. This was sponsored by Brooker's Hobbies. Again, it, you'll get a piece of paper, and we'll get your information, and we'll mail you the, the award, or, or you'll come pick up the award. Third place for the BF2, BFC-2 Goshawk is Tony Nowak. Second place for the Southwith Dolphin is Ed Baroff. And first place for the Gotha G1 is Terry Baylor. Tony Noack here. Tony Noack. Is there Tony Noack in the house? Tony Noack. Okay, we're moving on. Category A6, Rotary Wing, sponsored by Mission Models. Third place for the AH-1G Cobra is Mark Morez. Second place for the K-25 helicopter is Marco Antonio Curro Lima. And first place for the CH-54A Sky Crane, Randy Rothar. All right, category A7, out of the box aircraft sponsored by Mission Models. Third place for the AH1Z Viper, Jim Fry. Second place for the F14D Tomcat, Mark Glidden. And first place for the A6M50, Craig Brown. things for now. We're going on to dirt drivers. Armor. No, no, no. You want armor? Well, we can do armor. Yeah, we're going to do armor next. Sorry, guys. We're going to go in alphabetical order. 
Did y'all go to high school? All right. All right, ready? We're going to armor. We're doing armor. Category B1 is a, is a split. It's 70 second scale armor. And the first half of the split was wheeled vehicles. Okay? Third place for the Russian Maz 2410 with CHMP Zap trailer. I gotta catch my breath. Mark Della Duca. Duke. Second place for the British Humber Mark II, Craig Pierce. And first place for the Marine slash Army DUKW, Mike McFadden. Mike McFadden here someplace? Where's Duke? I'm trying. Maybe he just went to left. Yeah, go ahead. Mike's usually around. Mike was here. Yeah, I know we saw Mike. What was All right. Second place for the number. Yeah, don't forget you. Right here? Come bring this back. Yeah. Oh, right over here? Take your picture. Take your picture. All right, the second half of category B1, the split was 70 second scale armor tracked. This was also sponsored from, by SoCal Amps. Third place for the Israeli Nagmashan APC, Mark Deladuka. Second place for the German Nashhorn, Jim Fry. And first place for the M31 B1 Earthworm, Mike McFadden. Where's Mark? Mark was here. No one knows where he's going. All right. Category B2. 148 scale armor, also sponsored by SoCal Amps. Third place for the German, three ton, four by four, with and 20 millimeter flat glaring, Robert Fabuccini. Second place, the M4 Sherman, Stan Spooner, and first place, the Cromwell Tank by Conrad Schreier. Where's Spooner? Is he not here? Right here. Where? Right here. I'm just Spooner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Shifty eyes. <laughs> All right. Category B3. 135th scale armor. Pre-1946 Allied. Sponsored by SoCal Amps. Third place goes to the Soviet S-51 self-propelled gun, Joseph Rokomora. Second place for the Whippet, Sean Hayes. And first place for the U.S. Marine M-483 Iwo Jima, Joe Mendez. Sean Lee? No, he's coming. Uh, looks like Mike's here for his awards. We'll, we'll pause. There he is. Uh, what did you second? First place in uh, 70 seconds. He took a couple of awards, actually. Mike took first place in the split. And with the, no, no, with and, and, yeah, Mike took first place in the split and first place in 70 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want both the split and the armor. I think I have the split back here. Were you over there shopping? No, I'm like, wait. First place. First place. Where are we going? It's a B1. It's a B1. It's a first place in the split and first place in the A category. Okay. It's hard to remember. All right, on to category B4. 130 scale pre-1946 armor axis, also sponsored by SoCal Amps. Third place for the Og Tiger, Pascal Zent. Second place to Tiger One by Lucas Greeley. And first place for the Whippet, Bill Evans. I'm going to wait just another minute. You'll figure out why. For the T-54E1, Bill Evans. 
Second place for the Warrior. I'm sorry, that was me. For the Warrior, Marco Antonio Korajima. Korajima. And first place for the Ukrainian MTLB National Guard, Sean Hayes. What's this for? One of your models. One of the models you get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you won for your team. Third place for your team before you won. Okay. Okay. All right. You're in this one. Category B6. You need a hat. One three fifth scale wheeled and semi track vehicles. Also spon uh, sponsored by SoCal Amps. Thank you. Third place for the JGSDF Type 16 MCV Stan Spooner. Second place for the M1128 Striker MGS, Jason Mansfield. And first place for the SDKFZ 251-7 House of D, Bruce McCray. Third place for the Supcat Coyote, Craig Pierce. Second place, the SDKFZ 223, Lichter Panzerpa Wagen, Fu, Gary Okuma. And first place for the Churchill AVRE, Mike McFadden. <laughs> That concludes the armor. We are moving on to bright, shiny things that drive on the roads. Cars, automotive. Category C1, factory stock vehicles, sponsored by Tamiya USA. Third place for the Ford Model T for Steve Taylor. Second place for the 1923 Mack truck, Mike McFadden. And first place for the Ferrari GTO, Bud Peck. Okay, category C2, which is custom. Custom autos. Sponsored by Greg's Airbrush. This was a split, again. Uh, in this case, the split was rusted and non rusted. So this. <laughs> The first, the first split, Good idea. first half of the split for anyone under 50 is non-rusted. That is going to be... Okay, so third place in non-rusted custom autos is the 1970 SEMA Superbird by Leo Medea. Second place, the 1953 Ford F100 number by an unnamed contestant who didn't write his name down. You're contestant number 102. Uh, the 1953 Ford F100, and third place, uh, first place rather, for the VW Panel Bus Bud Peck. Non-rusted was first, and rusted second. Yeah. All right, we're going to need to submit it while we handle the backlog here. We're good. Okay, so now we're on to category C2, rusted. This is custom rusted. Like I say, for anyone over 50, this is your category. Give me the number. Give me the number. Give me the What? Give me the number. Give me the names back. Okay, for rusted, category C2, split, rusted. Third place goes to the 1964 Impala Daily Driver, Pablo Medea. Second place for the Mad Max Daytona, Leo Medea. And first place for the Land Rover Dust Devil, Charles Ruth. Okay, Pablo Mayer. All right, we're going to do it. I am again going to thank everybody. 
By the way, I don't think I mentioned that the split was actually sponsored by Greg Sternberg. And those people who, uh, who don't know Greg, they make a really great product. It's bright green, so you can't miss it. And I uh, really want to thank people for Greg and everyone else who sponsored the split because those are very hard to get people to sponsor because you don't know what they are. So that was generous, very generous. Okay. Moving on, category C3, competition open wheel. This is also sponsored by Grex. There were only two entrants in this category, so those of you who haven't thought about building an open wheel, now's a good time. First play, uh, second place for the Bantam goes to Garth Weiss, and first place for the Red Bull F1, Jim Fry. Okay, Com category C4 competition, closed wheel, also sponsored by Grex. Third place goes to the Herber VW, or I think it's Herbie VW, Bud Peck. What's it? Oi. Oi, okay, anyway. Bud Peck. Second place for the AMG GT3 goes to Chris Pusateri. And first place for the 1941 Willys is Garth Weiss. That's a nice kid. <laughs> All right, category C5, automobiles out of the box, also sponsored by Greg's Airbrush. Third place for the Corvette C7R is Leo Medea. Second place for the BMW R75 German motorcycle, Chris Pusateri. And first place for the Honda RA273 F1, Jim Fry. All right, no more, no more cars. On to vignettes, dioramas, category D1 vignettes, of which we had so many entries, we had to split those as well. This is sponsored by SoCal Amps, and the the split was large base and small base. So the first half of the split is large base vignettes. Third place for the Schwimmwagen Karkov 1943, Scott Sipes. Second place for the Tunnel Rat, 1967, Mike McFadden. And first place for the Composmetinus Mechina, Janin Ferdozzi. Where is Janin? Where's anyone? Scott. Mike McFadden. Scott Sipes, Mike McFadden, and Janin Ferdozzi. Scott's right here. All right, I don't know where you went to. All right. Second, second half of the vignette split, category D1, <laughs> vignette, small base. Small. Small base. Third place goes to the British SES Jeep, Frederick Hartunian. Second place for the Fighting Pirates, Craig Pierce. And first place for the Mandalorian, Tango. And this was sponsored by Brooker's Hobbies. Who did the Mandalorian? Want to go first? Huh. 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 Yes. All right, Where's category D2, Diorama. Oh, right. That's <laughs> later on. So. And I really want to tell you, these dioramas are excellent and they're gigantic and it's fun as heck to look at such huge pieces. So this is this was sponsored by SoCal Amps. Over here. Third place in dioramas is the Battle of Ichigo. China, 1944, Bill Evans. Second place for Keep It Coming, Sean Hayes. And first place for A Helping Hand, Bruce McRae. Okay, we're making progress, folks. We're getting there. Thanks. All right, we're on to figures. Category F1, 54 millimeter and smaller. No. Sponsored by SoCal Amps. Say it again. 
category F1. Third place for the German Prince, Jim Studi. Second place for the Aussie Light Horseman, Pete Ledesma. And first place for the Bio Vidoa, John Brubaker. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm Diaramas. Here. I'm Diaramas. Who's Bruce McCray. Bruce McCray. Are you here? You won a first place in Diaramas. Bruce McCray. Okay, moving on. Category F2. 53 millimeter and larger figures. Sponsored by Merit International. Uh, third place for the August von Mackensen bust, Peter Ledesma. Second place for the Teutonic Knight, John Brubaker. And first place for the Desert Fox, Bruce McRae. All right, now we're moving on to the gaming category. Those of you who haven't built any gaming miniatures and your regular modelers, I would strongly recommend you go buy some gaming miniatures. They are tons of fun to build. They are full-on models. Uh, some of the bigger pieces have a ton of parts, lots of customization, and you can go to town on them. So keep that in mind. So category G1, which is historic gaming miniatures, sponsored by Warlord Games. Third place for the 82nd Airborne is Sean Merwin. Second place for the Commonwealth Support Group, Tango. And first place for the Mustangs and Messerschmitts, Bruce McCray. All right, category G2, which is sci-fi and fantasy, sponsored by Games Workshop. Always two and one. This one? They're not coming out. Either one? Category G2 Sci Fi and Fantasy. Third place for the Havoc Trooper Unit, Crew Porker. Second place for the Tor Gorande, Gordon, uh, Giovanni ba Balaredo, Balaredo. And first place for the Stonehorn, John Brubaker. Can you hear? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Is it okay? I'll read them again. Third place for the Havoc Trooper Unit, Crew Porker. Second place for the Tor Gorodon, Giovanni Bolero. Bolero. And first place for the Stonehorn, John Brubaker. Are you able to hear okay or not? Choke up on the thing so you don't cover the amp the antenna. Yeah. All right. Any better? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. So you're covering the amp the, the antenna. So. Well, that's a good thing because I'm going to do the Academy Awards next year. And I get <laughs> Second place, Giovanni Bayardo. There you go. Thank you so much. Great job. Nice job. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh. All right. Category G3, which is 15 millimeter Team Yankee, sponsored by Battlefront. Uh, we only had one entry, which is the U.S. Bank Infantry by Sean Merwin. Those of you thinking about next year and what you should enter, I'd encourage you to consider Category G3, 15 millimeter Team Yankee. And Category G4, which is 15 millimeter Flames of War, also sponsored by Battlefront, had no entries. Big opening category for you guys next year. All right, we are moving on. Good job, thanks. Category M. Category M is Gundam. Okay, category M1, sponsored by Bandai Namco Collectibles, which is UC Large Scale. Third place for the Yegan is Brandon Hopkins. Second place for the E. Freet Kai, Angela De La Cruz. And first place for the Pearl Full Armor Thunderbolt is Tango. Small scale, also sponsored by Bandai 
Namco Collectibles. Third place for the GPO3 Bear is Gene M. Second place for the Dom Tropin is Yona Hall. And first place for the Zaku 3 Custom is uh, Maximiliano LaPere. Here's, here's your award right here. Be the best photo. Right here, your award. Uh, <laughs> you want to take them home? Mac, 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 Right here. Over here. Bruce Mac. I got a whole bunch of stuff in here back there, but you're gonna have to wait because I can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. We're gonna have to go through all that again. Oh, you want me to read them again? We can do that. No, I got it. John and Hall. Right. Okay. Two. Right here. And next video. Look there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's your. All right. We good? Yeah. You should be afraid you showed up. Like that. All right. Let's do that later. Tell them to do it later. All right. In category M. All right. Category M3. AU large scale. Also sponsored by Bandai. Third place for the Gundam Astrea is Gene M. Second place for the Haro Fumina is Jason Sai. And first place for the Gundam Barbatos is Frank Reyes. Yeah. You're first? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. You're second. Are you GNAM? Are you GNAM? Yes. Sorry, you're third. <laughs> I remember that one. All right. Category M4, AU Small Scale, also sponsored by Bandai Namco. Third place for the Leo on the Prowl, Don Salas. Second place for the Dungeon Crawl, Chris Jonas. And first place for the Ultramarine, Jason Sai. Did you get Okay, we ready? All right, category S1, we're moving on to ships. This is 1700 scale and smaller, sponsored by Tom's Model Works. Again, ships, 1700 and smaller, sponsored by Tom's Model Works. Third place for the Akutushima, Julian English, second place for the Orel, Jim Studi, and first place for the Langley, Sean Ballison. <laughs> All right, man, we got one. All right. <laughs> one went smooth. All right, Kangaroo S2. Ships 1, 350 and larger, also sponsored by Tom Model Works. Third place for the Virginia, Jesus Ramirez. Second place for the Japan Torpedo Boat, Jim Fry. And first place for the Prince Oigan, Jason Manson. Thank you. Yeah, All right, three submarine. Sponsored by Tom Model Works. Third place for the Type 9, Mike Norvadman. Second place for the Typhoon, Craig Pierce. And first place for the Type 7 C, Jason Mansfield.
second. Okay. Who are we going on to now? All right, category Y1, miscellaneous, sponsored by SoCal Amps. Third place for the rail card with photo, Jerry Jackson. Second place, Tune Odie to 1967, Arab slashes war, Israeli war to Kevin Collins. And first place for the Triceratops for Craig Pierce. Oh, wow. Second, I got it. Here's first. Okay. No, Kevin's second. Man, mini. 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 Yeah. Could you just listen to me? Alright, next up is going to be the sci fi categories. Thank you. Really? Thank you. Yeah, really? Yeah. Category X1 Fantasy and Sci Fi Vehicles and Real Space. Sponsored by Pegasus Hobbies. Third place for the Blood Moon, Bill Evans. Second place for the Idol Master, F-22, Dan Salas. And first place for the Space Battleship Yamato, Tan Mo. All right. Category X2 Fantasy and Sci Fi Figures, sponsored by King Workshop. Third place for Conan, John Brubaker. Second place for Iron Malice, Sean Merwin. And first place for the Glutton Demon, Anthony Erdelli. Good. Yeah. Tony. No. Who's second? I think it's Tony. Oh, he's gonna. Second? Second, second. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. All right, category X3 Fantasy Max, sponsored by SoCal Amps. Third place for the, for the Destroyed Defender, Julian English. Second place for the Chaos Knight, Connor Swamy. Third place for the Gatulan, Tom Go. All right, category X4 is Star Wars. And this category had so many entries that we had to split it. It was, uh, it was split into figures and not, and not Star Wars figures. So first up is the not not figures category, sponsored by Bandai. Which which category? This is uh, category X4, X4 Star Wars. The split that you'll be using is figures, but we're giving out the not a figure. So vehicles, ships, anything that's not a figure. All right, I got figures. Okay. Third place for the T47 crew, Parker. Second place for the Snow Speeder, Anthony Hozu. And first place for the Millennium Falcon, Tony Ardelli. Yeah, T47 was 30. All right, the other half of the split, which is Star Wars figures, sponsor of Booker's Hobbies. Third place for the Clone Trooper, Tan Mo. Second place for the R2-D2, Dave Frederick. And first place for the General Grievous, Connor Swamey. All right, last. This category Z1 Group Build or Collection, sponsored by Merit International. Third place for the Fuel Truck Accident, Lucas Greeley. Second place for the Guadalcanal Wildcats, Sal Ramirez. And first place for the Seahawk, U.S. Navy, Oliver Dory.
All right, we are now going to move on to the specialty awards. The first group of awards we'll do are the manufacturer's awards. Uh, these awards are judged differently than most because they are judged by representatives of the manufacturers themselves. And so instead of the normal judging team, we bring the manufacturers in who look at them and pick what best represents their own company. Okay, so first down. What's that? Wait a minute. Oh, third place. So, uh, Fred, do you want to announce the awards? Third place on here. And Tamiya. All right, Tamiya this year was extremely generous. It sponsored not one, but two awards. There's the uh, best automotive Tamiya subject and the best military Tamiya subject. Here to announce the awards is Fred Medell. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you for Tim for a great guy and all the crew. The first. Uh, first up for the Tamiya Awards is for Tamiya Best Tamiya Automotive, and first place goes to the Ducati 1199 Hanegali S Tricolor, and that belongs to Chris Pusateri. Manufacturer awards are picked by the manufacturer, which is why people like me do not compete in the regular contest, but we make sure the manufacturers pick them on their own, to be fair about this. All right, for the best AMV Club award, as I mentioned, Tony couldn't be here. Would you let me announce or do you want me to? No, I just hit the picture. Okay. So the best AMV Club award is sponsored by Merit International, who is the people who represent AMV Club here, goes to the M1128 Striker MGS Jason Mansfield. back to him later. The second award sponsored by Merit International, again a very generous on their part, is for the best Hasegawa model and that award goes to me, Jim Wexler, for the F4 Phantom 2. Thank you again. Okay, the best games workshop award. And I believe that Tony has taken off, so I'll announce this one. That goes, this is for the Best Games Workshop model, and that goes to somewhere in the Hungan Wood, Tango. That was a huge guy around. Uh, the next award is a special award sent in by PLA Editions, Abram Squad, and Dial Mag. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking award. It is uh, going to the JG, it's for best modern armor. It goes to the JG SDF Type 16 by Stan Spooner. <laughs> Stan, I want to make sure that I almost had you announce this just to see the lit so you can go. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, now we're moving on to the best ofs. These are actually judged by the judging teams. First is 
the best aircraft award sponsored by Attack Decals. And the best aircraft this year is the C-854 Sky Crane Helicopter by Randy Rothar. Thank you. See what happens when you come up the freeway. Thank you. Just slide in. Yeah, right. This is best aircraft. Okay, next up is best armor, sponsored by SoCal Amps, and that goes to the SDKFC 251/7D Pioneer vehicle by Bruce McRae. We got just for the occasion. <laughs> I hope I didn't overdress. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. All right. The ne next award is for the best automotive, sponsored by Greg Rex Airbrush, and that goes to the VW Panel Bus by Bud Peck. sponsored by Brooker's Hobbies and uh, the theme award is not picked on like technical merit per se but it's really what best embodies something from the 1960s something we can all relate to and is iconic and is still a very well built model and that award this year goes to something that I think most of us would, would agree is one of the most iconic things that happened in the 60s that goes to the Apollo 11 moon lander by Mike McFadden And we're done. You know what? This year we went uh, as far out as we could on the award. I hope you like the look of it. Someone's taking it home. The award for best of show this year, sponsored by Brooker's Hobbies, goes to drum roll. And have we done all the award, the raffle prizes yet? All we have left is, if anyone has picked up the raffle, please go get it. I'm sorry, I'm just screwing with you guys. No, we got, we got two more. We have two more to give out? Two, all right. Two all right. more to give out. All right, thanks. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't help it. Best of show, sponsored by Brooker's Hobbies, goes to the CA-54 Sky Green Helicopter, Randy Rothar. All right. So that now concludes the award shows. Thanks very much. I will turn this back over to Jake to handle the rest of the raffle. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? All right.